Alright. Well, I just wanted to see what's going on. This is through St. James. Okay, we're, we're going through St. James. I still have to plug the other one. If it doesn't rain, I'll be able to tonight. right. It's supposed to quit, but it Alright, so we got flash flood warnings out for uh, Fayette County. Oh, they had some levees break up in Vandalia. They had levees break in Vandalia, Illinois. Alright guys, so right up here you're going to see water coming across the road right up there. See, right here. It's not across, but it's working. Right up there it is. Undercarriage wash. Alright, so my right back here it's flooded and it's starting to flood out up here. If it rains anymore. And right up there is what we went through the last several days. And that's what that's what's clearing out. Look how full of ditches are up here. They had uh, areas in Shelby County flooded out. It's been across. Oh yeah. What home? Uh, Jersey County, Illinois, is in this flash flood warning. Oh yeah, that's even out right back there. Oh, holy shit! You go through that, you can't go home, but sure I can. You can kill it. That's not the road I have to go to. So you can tell, we've had so much rain in the last several days, it's crazy. Even the lakes flooded out back home. Yeah, this road's flooded. This is pretty much a video of what happened over the last four days. See how full of ditches are. Look at this. Fields of like lakes. Uh, round whoa. I don't know how much rain we had total. I haven't heard. The last check I heard, Springfield, Missouri had seven inches right at, on the nose. Look, Mom, that's a big lake. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Wow, that's a well part. Wow, that's a big little lake. That's a big little lake, okay. Yeah, let's call it. And right up here. And even Mason Everly, uh, Everly, yeah. Everly Road was out. Look at this. Not going through Mason Everly. I this is going right across the road right here. Fun. Look at this. Oh, it is. Only nice. See, look at this. This is crazy. This is just the ditches, too. So yeah. Imagine what some of the fields look like right now. Now, I bet you, what do you want to bet the field along Route 40 is out? It is. I've seen that this morning. Can... Well, we'll make a separate video from that. Once we get out of here, we'll stop once we get up there. But like I said, we're out in, uh, just outside of Altamont, so. Yeah, see, the storm's finally letting up, so. See right out there where it's going. Yeah, you can see it's breaking up. It's heading toward Mattoon area. Probably take several days for this to dry up. We got rain. I've got a friend who lives in Chicago. 
areas north of here was getting. He got a quarter inch of ice with high winds and electric was out. And I know that they shared a thing on Facebook that said uh, over by T-Town, Morris Electric was out working on electricity to get it back on. Well, areas north of here, because of what happened, the uh, the warmer air stayed south and the colder air went north. It, it split off in two different sections. Um, yes. So, therefore, that, that's the reason why we got all the rain down here in Illinois and areas, and areas up there and, like, around Indiana, Peoria area. And Peoria over here in Illinois had winter storm watches out. See, look at this is a. Yeah. Well, it's like the took the lives of a family of five. They found out it was an entire family in that one accident. The, there's a few, a, a family of five from Kentucky, got swept off a bridge, and authorities found them dead in the vehicle. This is a total loss right now. Well, there's nothing in it. There's nothing in it, but if there was, it would be a total loss out for them. I think this is the worst I've ever seen anything flood out. I mean, t typically Ooh, things tree branches. Typically things do flood out around here if we get a lot of rain. Yeah. We. We probably had a good five or six inches, if not more. Yeah. Chevrolet Lumina. <laughs> what well, we're in, we're actually doing, this is after the rain. We're in O2 Chevrolet Trailblazer. That road flooded out some. Oh. This has been out through here too. Right there. Oh, it's went back in. It's went back in. It's receded. There's water right across the road, right up there. Yep. All right, guys. Here we go. We gotta be careful. It might. Wow! <laughs> Still flooded out there. Debris from the Just debris from field. the field, and there's more. Oh, this one ain't bad up here. Yeah, it's went back in there. Uh, here, what well, you see on the road is debris from the field. Total lake. Um, lakes are flooded, I can tell you that. Lake Sarah's close until further notice for uh, boat traffic. And we are actually on our way to Effingham right now. And once we get into Altamont, we'll start another video. Yeah, there's more across the road up there. Stay in the middle, you'll be alright. Yep. Well, I don't plan on going over. Holy sh... Snikes. Yeah. Oh, nice. That's what you call a major. Holy crap, look at their yard. That wow. never does that. No. This crap. This is crazy. Alright, we'll see you in the next video. Unless we have uh, some up here. Um, yeah. Well, a look at this. This is a retention it's pond. A it's completely pond flooded. Place. It's flooded.
10 minute video. <laughs> it's been across here. Yeah, it has. You can see the debris on the road. Uh, river bottoms are also out, will be for a while until all this. They've got Fayette Bottoms closed, they've got all that. Right. Look at this. Alright. So we'll see you in the next video, guys.